Hey everyone, this is Lynn with our weekly Q&A. And this week, we have a culinary topic for you. Following up on our recent video about China's recovery from the corona crisis, we spoke about revenge consumption as people are making up for lost opportunities and flocking back to the restaurants. And we recently also did a short piece on Heidi Lao, a widely popular hot pot chain in China. Today, we'll speak about another stock in our portfolio, Hai Tian, China's largest producer of soy sauce and seasoning for the Chinese cuisine, with our analyst Ethan Yang in Hong Kong. Ethan, can you tell us a little bit more about the importance of soy sauce in China? Well, soy sauce is definitely an important part of people's life in China. The history of soy sauce can be traced back to 3,000 years ago, when Chinese ancestors used meat to produce soy sauce. At that time, meats were so expensive, so soy sauce was only made for emperors. Then people started to find a substitute of soy sauce, and finally, they used soy bean. With such a long history, soy sauce today is one of the most important condiments in China. It is just that for all the dishes you cook, you use soy sauce. For example, before you grill, or before you steam, people use soy sauce. And even when you just have one bowl of steamed rice, you can still eat it with some soy sauce. If you look at the data, soy sauce accounts for 60% of the overall condiment consumption in China. Each year, each Chinese people consume around 7 liters of soy sauce. So clearly, a meal without soy sauce in China is unimaginable. At the beginning of this week, Hong Kong and Shanghai entered a bull market led by technology and consumer staples. How is Hai Tian doing during the corona recovery? Hai Tian remains resilient not only during the pandemic recovery, but also during the virus. Fundamentally speaking, no matter if there's a virus or not, you need to eat. And as long as you cook, you need to use soy sauce. It's just that the consumption of soy sauce shifted from business like restaurants to families. In the first quarter, Hai Tian sales went up by 9% year over year and the impact of logistic disruption. Overall, in the long term, we are still positive on Hai Tian as soy sauce is one of the necessary condiments in China and people are less price sensitive. So that's it this week, folks, for our weekly Q&A. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to be updated on what's moving in China and see you again soon.